Hello, this is Eric Knopaus, and welcome to my video on why you may have stuttering in games. Of course, there are several different reasons, and some of them are not as obvious as others. And right here, I have a watt meter, and this watt meter is because there are certain cases where your computer will actually use more power. And I'm going to start with that right now. I'm at 60 hertz, so I'm going to go into my game Doom Eternal to show you what actually happens for your wattage. Here, when I'm actually running in-game at 60 hertz refresh rate, this is only connected to my computer tower, not my computer monitor at all. So I want to show you what happens to the computer power usage. And of course, we should be able to agree that if the power usage goes up, the heat's going up because the computer has to run harder. Of course, the question is, will that happen if we actually run at a higher refresh rate? So right now I have the volume off on purpose so I can actually speak to you. So one situation may be that your computer is actually overheating. And of course, running the default cooler that your CPU comes with, that can very well be the case. The higher the refresh rate, and of course, more dust accumulation and so on, you're going to find stuttering in your games. So right now, we're just about entering the game. Another reason, of course, is optimization of Windows or programs that are actually running in the background. So here's a small preview of that video. Now let's go to the Startup tab. So the question is, what is Startup? These are the programs that start with your computer as it boots. So if you have a lot of programs running, it really bogs down your computer, it takes up a lot of memory, and slows that startup process altogether. Logitech Download Assistant, well, technically, I don't need that. I already have it disabled, by the way. Some of these I already went through. Oh, and uh, MSI, that's the Dragon Center. That's for my motherboard here. So if I want my motherboard uh, settings to show up with my computer, I'd want to leave that uh, starting up, by the way. But if you have nothing that you want starting up your computer, no specific settings starting with your computer, disable it. Do I need Image Edge Desktop for my Sony camera running at startup? No, I don't. I don't need it. I can disable that. And, of course, I want to keep my audio drivers, and you want to keep your audio drivers normally starting with your computer. So I have a video on that, the ultimate PC and hardware experience. And if you're on a computer, you should be able to see a link above, disappear right now, that you can actually click. If you're on a cell phone, click in the description of this video so you can actually see that video and you can actually learn about uh, optimizing Windows so you can actually avoid stuttering. Certain programs that you use day to day will actually have stuttering because, uh, will cause stuttering because it'll be running processes in the background, like an antivirus can do that. You can always add an exception to your game to not scan the antivirus. So right now, I'm not sure if we can see that right now on the screen, I'm running at 60 frames per second and my power usage right now is showing at 102.1 watts at this very moment. So now I'm going to switch to 200 hertz and watch what happens to my power draw. Now to actually show that I'm going to have to actually exit the desktop because if I change the control panel while I'm in game, What's actually going to happen is it's going to stay at 60 hertz and it won't change the refresh rate. So right now going to my NVIDIA control panel, changing from 60 hertz to 200 hertz, applying the setting. So you also want to make sure that your, your computer is cleaned out, all the dust, because if you have too much dust buildup, your components are going to overheat. And what happens is your GPU can throttle, your CPU can throttle, and what that means is it's going to run at a lower speed. And since it's actually jumping to lower speeds to maintain its temperature, it's actually going to um, slow down the speed and slow down your computer. And you might not notice that unless you're in a game that you can actually visually see. Of course, you could also have an issue with your RAM not being optimized. Watch my computer memory optimization guide. And I'll have a link above here if you're on PC. And if you're, say, um, on a mobile phone, again, look in the description. You can tweak your memory, especially with the two memory timings together, which I mentioned in that video, should equal this other timing, which often will be 58 or whatever the case may be, once you uh, enable XMP profile. If it, doesn't, if it doesn't add close to those two memories and your number is much higher. So here's a small preview of that video. 
normally TRP plus TRAS should be what TRC is in a sense. You can think of this almost like a vertical timing, up and down timing, and this is a horizontal timing. You can think of it that way, which this plus this is uh, this is your fastest refresh of those two timings. However, this is a big delay. So normally I should be I should technically be able to choose a 21 plus 39, so that's 50, 60. So now I'm going to change my TRC to 60. You want to be mindful not changing more than you should at a time to make sure it's actually stable. I've actually had the situation where it actually caused stuttering in games if your computer memory is not optimized. And I didn't actually notice that situation of stuttering in games until I got my um, what is it? LG 27GL850 monitor. This is not that one. This is the MSI MAG 301CR2. And we went from 101, 102 watts. Oh, let's go in the game. Okay. Do we see the difference? I was at 102 watts. Now I'm at 200, 269 ish, 268 watts. Just by changing my frame rate from 60 frames per second to 200 frames per second. So, for anyone that doesn't believe the refresh rate in your monitor will make a difference in your computer power usage, I just proved it right here, right now. So, your computer can very well be overheating. And of course, that means you're going to have game stuttering like galore. So just because you get a faster monitor doesn't mean your computer is going to run faster unless you fix the issues with it first. And let's have a little bit of fun. I'm going to show some gameplay. So before I get to game playing of Doom here, just to show you a bit of gameplay on this particular monitor, I also have a review on this exact monitor as well as a 27GL850. Now. What you can do as well for monitors, some cases you have an overclock monitor like this has 144 OC to 165. In some cases you can actually frame rate stuttering. Or sometimes even this monitor may have a case of it can't quite keep up. I'm not denying or saying that that's a possibility because some monitors just can't keep up with the actual refresh rate where you actually lose a couple frames because it only partially refreshes the frame. It really pre uh, partially uh, refreshes those pixels. So you're actually getting kind of a blur blend together of different frames or you might lose that frame completely. So what you can do, let's say if this particular monitor can't do 200 hertz and this is what I personally like to do because I find it gives me a bit nicer feel to the gameplay like the actual monitor is changing for this particular monitor from 200 to say 180, but we don't see 180. We don't. That's where, at least on NVIDIA, and you should be able to do the same thing on AMD, same idea, but your menu is going to look different. So you can choose which refresh rate you want. So I'm going to make a custom one. So we're going to choose the same resolution. I'm going to change that 200. I'm going to change that to 180. And I'm going to test it. You don't necessarily want to overclock higher than your monitor because when you do that, what usually happens is you'll lose frames. Even if it does work, I actually had a 60 hertz monitor and I changed it to 75 hertz. Sometimes it'll be in luck, but sometimes you'll actually get more stuttering because you'll lose a frame here and there between your frames and it'll feel like little micro stutters where you guys have a slight glitch in your movement. And of course, that's no good. So now that I chose a custom refresh rate, I go to my custom and I choose that 180 hertz. And I apply it, and I now can go to my game. Also, another thing to do to lower latency, latency means avoid stuttering a bit, is you, at least on in NVIDIA, you should hopefully be able to do the same thing in AMD. I'm not sure if that's the setting or not. And sadly, I do not have an AMD graphics hard to show you here. And I can choose my max frame rate. So I want to look for that. So in this case of NVIDIA, I choose max frame rate. I change it from off and I put it on. So I'm at 180 and adaptive zinc is to 180. So I'm going to change it to 179. And usually what happens is games run a little lower than that in frame rate. And of course that'll avoid any hitting the ceiling of 180 for, for instance, for frame rate, if you're actually able to hit it. I have a 3070 here, a 5100X CPU. And I'm running fast and normal. I tweaked it. 
and without actually setting overclocking. I actually um, did PBO disabled, changed my power curve and allowed me 200 hertz more on average or 250 hertz on average every core through my CPU. So I can really hit that frame rate. And of course, without using more power as a bonus is that. Okay, now let's show some gameplay at my 180 hertz optimized and let's get to that. Before we get started with gameplay, just to let you know, it actually won't look as good as the game actually looks on my screen because I'm playing at over 100 frames per second. The camera's recording at 30 frames per second. So we'll actually show multiple images all together, but let's get started. The UAC won't handle the Seraphim without a fight. Of course, you want to make sure you have enough RAM. 8 gigs of RAM is not enough for modern titles nowadays. Your video card, if you're running at too high of resolution, you don't have enough memory in the graphics card. Again, if you're running too high of settings, you can get stuttering going on. Keep in mind, dust buildup, you want to make sure that's cleaned out because overheating will cause your computer to throttle, which means things will stutter and slow down. You also want to make sure that you're not running too hot and you have a proper CPU cooler. So this gives you an idea. Also make sure your fans are running, of course, getting that airflow going and getting the heat out of your case. Follow the links below if you actually wanna see more details than I actually show in this video strictly alone. Thank you for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. This is not BIOS, tech and hardware.